What's up guys, this is Frosted GFX and today I will be bringing you my first tutorial so hope it doesn't end that bad but yeah, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make this you know, rusty orb I don't know if you can see this but it's hopefully gonna end up like that it's very easy I think to, to do but and it looks awesome so file new project and I don't know why but I like to use 900 by 900 pixels so okay and then go over here to mark to uh, ellipse mark tool press in the corner hold shift so it contains its aspect ratio or what you call it and then you gotta drag it inside so it nothing's inside hold shift and f5 to choose the color to fill it with uh, I like to use black and uh, control D to deselect then I must do something like this you know put a bevel and envelopes here I used to you can see where uh, where they split C click uh, on this layer control J to duplicate it uh, control T uh, to uh, what do you call it why don't I remember this uh, resize it uh, yeah and this will be fine as long as it's inside um, take away that and uh, oh, we can make this like so, so you can see where it starts. Okay, press press on the uh, back side of the the first layer you made. Okay, guys, and then go to bevel and emblos. You could click this contour too if you want to. But yeah, uh, depth uh, depth up to one thousand uh, size. Now we use it like in the middle or something. This looks good, I think. And then you could um, pick a gradient overlay. It's pretty light now. You, uh, you're going to see, but uh, that's okay, I guess. Uh, maybe reverse it so it get a little bit darker and that's all you have to do there uh, go to your uh, the layer on top uh, take away the gradient and uh, no I mean uh, go to the gradient uh, style go to radial to so get like a form like this you know and reverse the white inside and the blacks outside and then uh, uh, you just add a drop shadow and maybe you know something else whatever you want maybe a set and if you want it darker but yeah I'm just sure we have to do this first um, uh, click on this thing adjustments then go to here gradient maps um, it's gonna put a gradient over the whole thing every layer so, uh, yeah and then click here so you can choose what you want and press this like uh, yeah to so get these colors it looks pretty bad now but but just uh, yeah uh, press here as a gradient go over here and choose overlay then you should get this you know really nice nice color and um, yeah that's the first steps and um, I guess I could put this in this the descriptions but yeah uh, you could choose like um, metal overlays and you know this is the first time I used this I did not use this on the background I made or the logo but yeah um, make it so it fit the whole thing 
uh, right click restaurant layer so you could delete stuff from the sides you know and press overlay again and then go to the bottom layer and um, over here to the uh, magic wand tool you might have the quick selection tool here but yeah just hold it and press this magic wand tool so you can select the whole inside of the uh, outside of this and then you're gonna see you know you select the inside of this then just press control shift and I to reverse it okay and then go back to the crunch me uh, grungy metal and press delete okay so then you're gonna delete everything behind as you can see now you get like um, over layer but uh, this over layer I think is pretty good I've only tried these two to be honest um, so I don't know that many others I do got a lot of these so I just haven't tried any else this is the first I saw and you know looked good um, you know just resize it to the, so it fits everything nothing on the sides or something like that and right click right click rasterize layer um, then choose overlay again just you know do the same thing again go in the bottom layer magic wand tool click uh, control sh uh, shift i go over here again to the grungy wall you know press delete control d to deselect yeah you know uh, I've learned by the shortcuts you know you could I guess you could like go deselect here and you know um, inverse here to when you have the selections and edit and stuff here but you know I've learned by the shortcuts so yeah okay now we got pretty sweet here um, you know th there's a lot you could do th do with these orbs you know um, you could have them in backgrounds and logos and in, in everything you do you know and here you know this looks pretty nice in backgrounds I must say you know I've also made um, these uh, logo where I had you know um, blue outside and you know yeah I just put a photo filter and choose filter as blue and you can see there oh uh, also another thing you might want to do you see here in my background I don't know if you could see this but it's a really really nice effect you know um, uh, there's like I don't know what that looks like you know maybe screw holes or yeah I don't know but it's a pretty sweet effect so I'm gonna teach you how to do that too you know you just take the ellipse mark tool you might want to zoom in a bit because you want to do this very very small uh, first create a new layer by clicking on this over here if you could see my mouse and then just uh, click hold shift drag out a tiny tiny thing and um, hold shift press F5 to fill use black again control D to deselect uh, double click and um, then choose like a gradient overlay not that important because it's very small uh, control J to duplicate control T to resize it uh, press V to use the uh, this no these two and then just you know 
use the key the key controls or what it's called to you know sh uh, put it in the middle that's mm, not right in the middle but you know it's not that important when it's this small to uh, double click on the top layer and you know uh, shoes um, gradient overlay don't really remember uh, gradient overlay yeah yeah uh, radial um, reverse and max up scale and use press satin Um, fifty percent here, and you know, this didn't end up like it did earlier. Don't know why. Just switch this. It looks almost like that now. At least, you know, just uh, zoom out. You know, it looks. I don't really know. Uh, maybe some bevel and emblas and gradle maybe. No skip the gradle. Uh, bevel and emblas should be enough. Uh, depth up to a thousand. Size use whatever you want. I'm going to 59 pixels. And you know that looks pretty nice. Um, click on this layer and hold shift and click on the other layer so you select them both or you could just click control also and press them both and then like put them in the corners or you know control J to duplicate okay 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 I did not duplicate that because it's two layers selected you know you could press control E to make them as one layer, then you can't you know change anything later. So what I like to do is I you know select them both, right click, duplicate layers, I duplicate them both, and you know take away these so they're not gonna show. Then I press Control E. So if I fail or something and want to redo it, I got these left. So can change layer styles or anything. Okay. Then I got this. Press Control J, duplicate it. You know, there in the corner is good. Control J again. You know, you can place them anywhere you want. Let's do this fast. I don't know how long it takes. Oh fuck! I passed ten minutes. Uh, yeah, well, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Um, that's all for me. Uh, bye, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you want to, you know, buy anything from a uh, background or a logo or a video editor or you know anything, uh, please check prices at my uh, my channel descriptions. Bye.